Thanks for tuning in. Today I'm going to show you how I built this movie style clapper board. And uh, if you're not familiar with what it does, it helps me sync the audio from the microphone that I'm using to the video so you can hear me a little more clearly because that microphone picks up a lot more. But it lets me visually see them so I can line it up so my lips aren't off from the audio like an old kung fu movie. But to figure out what I wanted to do with it, I had to do extensive field research on which wood would be the loudest, I guess. So I started with maple. And then I did walnut. And then we did cherry. So we got maple, walnut, cherry. So I ended up using maple. I just cut the maple down the width on the table saw and the 2x4s down to a rough width on, or the rough length on there as well. And glued them up together. Sorry about the autofocus thing. I'm not sure what happened with the overhead camera. I didn't set it right or something. So anyway, glued those up and then I used the L bracket for a picture frame that was going to act as the hinges. Just broke them apart on the vise and round them off over here on the belt sander just to get that roughness off of them. And then after the glue had dried on the clapper pieces I cut them down to their final dimensions uh, I, don't remember how <clears throat> I don't remember how tall they were but they were about nine inches long and an uh, inch and a quarter or inch and an eighth wide rather and then I cut a rabbit in the bottom clapper so it would be able to hold the board uh, that was gonna have the writing board on it I had to cut an angle at the bottom of the top clapper piece so it would be able to hinge up and down without any interference. So I just really guesstimated on that and then cut the bottoms off the edges too, just for looks. And I rounded it off, cleaned it up, and primed it white. And I used electric tape to make the chevrons. And this is a real tedious process right here, so that short clip. But I used electric tape and did that all the way down. And then I hit it with a coat of clear to seal the edges and then came over it with some black spray paint and turned out pretty well after it was all said and done. And while that was drying, I glued the <clears throat> writing part onto the board right there. I just printed out a sheet of paper that said Project and Scene and took it to the UPS store and the nice girl up there laminated it for me. And then it was time to assemble it. So I just used that picture frame bracket with a wash underneath, which I forgot to put on. Then I put that on, screwed that in there, Made sure it worked. And then the bottom piece, I didn't use a washer, so it would stay a little more snug to that spot. I did I did it on both sides. I did, however, have to go back and put some really small uh, nails on each side of the bottom bracket so it wouldn't slide. And then just put it in there. Sometimes you got to karate chop it to get it where you want. And then on the back, I just drilled two screws to hold that bottom board in place. And... That's pretty much it, I believe. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, if you liked it, please hit the like button and or subscribe. That'd be awesome. So thanks for tuning in. More videos coming soon.